Continuous integration and delivery is complicated. As a DevOps guy, there are so many different tools to choose from. Each one has its own pros and cons. More importantly, there's a learning curve attached to each one of them. This makes choosing a CI CD tool somewhat like a marriage which will most likely end up in a divorce or multiple smaller affairs. There's something seriously wrong with me. The point I'm trying to make is that our DevOps processes will keep evolving with our product. It will eventually outgrow our CI CD tool. As a developer on the other hand, CI CD kind of makes the entire development process slower. Since most of these tools are hosted on the cloud, I have to push the smallest of changes to Git and wait for an eternity for the CI process to complete before I can call it a day. Now I know what you're thinking. We can run all of this locally, right? Well, most CI CD tools don't work locally. And the ones which do are a gigantic pain in the butt to set up. So you'll have to write your own set of scripts to test things locally. At this point, all of this should be renamed from continuous to discrete. Nobody's getting the joke. What I need is the ability to write my pipeline once and run it anywhere. I should be able to execute the pipeline locally on my machine or in a cloud-based CI CD tool of my choice. Basically, I want the CI CD equivalent of Java. Java. This is so not fair. Luckily for us, there's a new kid on the block which can help us out with just that. In comes Dagger. Dagger calls itself a portable dev kit for CI CD pipeline. Let's break this down, shall we? Let's start with portable. Dagger can pretty much run anywhere. Well, anywhere as long as you have Docker installed. The idea is pretty ingenious actually. Pipelines written in Dagger can be executed directly using its CLI. The best part is you can run the CLI command on your local machine or as a step in your favorite CI CD tool. It's really that simple. The Dagger team has already created guides on how you can run Dagger pipelines in some of the most popular CI CD tools out there. Don't see your tool on the list? No need to worry. As I said, you can run Dagger anywhere as long as you have Docker installed, which you probably do already. After hearing this, it's pretty safe to say that Dagger is indeed as portable as it can possibly get. Now let's look at the second word, DevKit. Now this is where things get interesting. And don't worry, I'll be sharing some practical insights of whether or not you should be using Dagger soon. So stick around till the end to find out. So where were we? Oh yes, Dagger is a CI CD dev kit. And since Dagger is so portable, any libraries or utilities built on top of it will be portable as well. At least in theory. Now, if enough smart people buy into this, the wealth of libraries Dagger has to offer can potentially rival something like Jenkins. Think of it like Java. God, this language just won't leave me alone. Java has seen such great adoption thanks to its write once and run anywhere philosophy. The ecosystem around Java has seen exponential growth. You can literally find a Java library to do anything. Need HTTP3 support? There's a library for that. Want distributed real-time processing? You're totally covered. Want friends who really care about you? Okay, that's something nobody can help you with. But the point is, the DevOps ecosystem still has a lot of room for such a portable platform. But to really build an ecosystem, Dagger will have to be extensible to the core. Luckily, Dagger fulfills this requirement as well. Dagger pipelines are written in this weird JSON superset called Q. And this is where the magic lies. Okay, pipelines written in Q look pretty unnatural to someone who's new to it. But trust me, the benefits of Q far outweigh the learning curve. Q follows a module system similar to Golang. Basically, I can create libraries or packages in Q which can be imported by other packages. It's exactly how you import libraries in any programming language, not just Java. On top of that, Q is strongly typed. This means I can potentially get cool features like autocomplete and better error handling, which is especially useful when using third-party libraries. The Dagger team has already started building this universe of packages where they have covered all the necessary ingredients you could possibly need to create your own packages. And before I forget, I've pushed a sample pipeline I've written in Dagger on GitHub. Feel free to check that out. Also, if you've enjoyed this video this far, hit the like button. It really helps. Let's move on to the pros and cons of Dagger. 
Starting with the pros, Dago is indeed an extremely portable and extensible dev kit. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the only one of its kind which has managed to gain so much traction. Number 2. Thanks to Q, it is so much easier to model complex pipelines in Dago. Things like conditionals, loops are built right into the language. Another cool thing about Dago is how you can compose pipelines. In Dago, everything is in action. I should have probably started with this. In action is exactly what it sounds like. It's a single task that needs to be performed. Actions can depend on one another forming an entire DAG of tasks. You can store common actions as a package or a library. Moreover, a single DAG or pipeline defines all the tasks you could possibly need across all your CI CD pipelines. I can simply choose to invoke the actions I need whenever I want. This promotes an insane degree of reusability. Another welcome feature is the ability to break down a larger pipeline into multiple files and packages. These days, pipelines do tend to get pretty complex and breaking things down into a proper folder structure does help organize stuff better. The last thing I want to share is the ability to build Docker images without requiring a Docker file. And no, I'm not talking about build packs here. In Dagger, I can literally describe my Docker file as code. This unlocks a whole new breed of patterns which were just not possible before. For example, I can parameterize things like the base image to be used. Non-prod environments can use a Debian or Alpine-based image, whereas production images can use the most secure distro list. Okay, now let's move on to the cons of Dagger, cause we've got a few. The biggest advantage of Dagger is also one of its biggest downsides. Q. Q is difficult to understand. It's got a bit of a learning curve attached to it. Moreover, since it's relatively new, the official docs for Qlang are kind of difficult to navigate. Having said that, Dagger does cover a basic guide on Q which can help you get started in no time. And trust me, it's completely worth it. The next problem with Dagger is due to its young age. To qualify as a proper dev kit, you need an expansive library collection. Dagger still hasn't reached the maturity level of something like Jenkins or Java. But it's just a matter of time before it gets there. And given how easy it is to make Dagger libraries, it wouldn't take that long. A bigger problem, however, is that Dagger is meant to be run by another CI CD tool by design. This is great from a portability standpoint, but it also means that now the pipeline defined in my CI CD tool will have just one step to run Dagger. This also means that the metrics and visualizations my CI CD tool will produce will be misleading. And since Dagger doesn't really have a metric exporter yet, the only way to figure out which action in my pipeline has failed would be the logs. Not cool. Moreover, some nifty features like retrying failed steps won't be as accessible as they were in your CI CD tool. This could be a real deal breaker for those looking for a more out of the box kind of a solution. Last but not the least, Dagger works only with Docker. So if you're like me and you prefer running your pipelines in Kubernetes, you're out of luck. I mean, you can run Dagger in Kubernetes, but it's via the Docker and Docker approach which I don't really like. So here comes the real question. Should you really use it? In my opinion, Dagger is primarily meant for platform builders at this point. The portability and extensibility features of Dagger are absolutely OP and unlock a whole new world of possibilities. However, if you want to simply set up a fully featured CI CD pipeline for your app, Dagger is probably not a good fit since there's a lot more to CI CD tools than just pipeline design and orchestration, and Dagger still hasn't covered a lot of ground yet. Having said that, if you're just starting out and don't have unnatural expectations from your CI CD tool, Dagger is a great place to start. It will take care of all your needs undoubtedly. And this tool is maturing rapidly. I'm pretty sure the Dagger team will fix all the missing components soon enough. I'm pretty optimistic. Irrespective, do give it a shot. I think it has the potential to bring about a change in how CI CD tools work in general. And if you've liked this video, you should absolutely check out this one, which speaks about GitOps and how declarative configuration can make our pipelines and our lives so much easier. Like, share, and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful. And don't forget, I am your tech bud here on YouTube and hopefully in real life.